Aquarius, hello and welcome to your spring 2024 shapeshift reading. We're looking at the shape you're shifting out of, the shape you're shifting into, and what that shapeshift looks and feels like for the spring season. I'm Andy, I'm your reader, and I'm joined today by the Green Glyphs Tarot box set by James R. Eads. We're starting with the Rune Deck and Dice, the Lenormand Tarot, the regular tarot, and James's Oracle deck. We're going to use the full set in your spring spread today. So it's going to be a bit of a um, a larger spread, maybe a longer reading, a big overview on your spring. All right, let's start with the rune dice for Aquarius this spring. Okay. Yay. Yes. Wow. Cool. Okay. Whoa. It's just like this, um, you know, I gotta say, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, well, especially Aries and Taurus, like this, this spring season energy is rough and it started those signs where the sun is moving through their signs, like the, their readings reflect the difficulty of this season. And then like almost everybody else's readings since then have just been stellar and yours is no exception. So yay for that. Um, also the last like bunch of readings, everyone's getting the same rune, which is kind of cool. So let's look at them together. I'm going to find the corresponding cards in the deck to the dice that were rolled and we'll, we'll take a look. Okay, Aquarius. I mean, come on. Suvilu, Berkana, Gebu, and the Anglo-Saxon rune Year or Year. This is so positive. And we're starting off with the, the card of positive energy, Suvilu. It's the sun card. Um, or the sun rune, rather. It's just talking about like the pure, open light of day that is just like everything is illuminated. There's warmth, there's openness, daylight, positivity, brightness. So there's some sort of just like light in your world this spring. And, and that's how you're starting the reading. And then you get Berkana, which is the beginning. It's the birth. It's the beginning of something, um, something that has gestated for some time. It's like, it's very womb energy we, we can see like a little infant being born here it is the origin of all things the magic of the act of creation itself and not just like creation and gestation but actually birthing the thing bringing the thing into being um, becoming would be a great word for that and then you've got gebu which is the gift Giving and receiving a gift. It talks about talents and skills because gifts can be talents, of course. Um, it talks about like exchanges of energy, hence the giving and receiving energy. And then you have the year card, which um, is another card talking about skill set, skills and knowledge, um, focusing your and like honing your craft, or it could be a signal that like something is spot on, but it is definitely like a specificity and like a very clear focus because we're seeing not only the skill that goes into crafting and creating the bow, but the craftsmanship ship and skill required to aim the bow and shoot the arrow into the bullseye. It's interesting, Aquarius, because um, this combination came out in the Aries reading as well. It just talked a lot more and like that reading in general had a lot more to do with the social context and, um, and maybe like personal social context of understanding your skills and talents and like finding your zest for creation in a social context that is difficult of like hard times and um, feeling like, can I create in hard times was more of the vibe of the Aries reading. So if that's something you're a theme for you, um, it might be worth checking out just because the same combination of cards is coming out. But for you so far, Aquarius, like there's no trace of 
um, that like social intensity or difficulty or pressures, which is pretty surprising given the fact that like Pluto is in Aquarius, I would expect your reading to talk about that, but you know, or like to talk about the heavier, um, darker things that are happening globally, socially. But the sun's out so far in your reading Aquarius and spring is here in the Northern Hemisphere. New things are being born. There's an energy of like creation and aliveness and, um, and like bringing forth your talents, your craft in a really specific and accomplished way, a really focused way. Let's go to the Lenormand deck and see if we can get a more specific picture of this. It's all yellow, you know, that the the runes you're getting so far, their co corresponding cards are all this like beautiful golden yellow tones. It's lovely. Okay, what else for Aquarius? Show us the spring for Aquarius. So I guess like, cool okay I guess if you're not feeling super positive you really oughta no oh. well okay uh-huh for sure I mean I feel like the the stork card like always comes out um with Bearcana. it's come out for two readings I think stork alongside alongside Birkana. Okay. And then um, we have a letter. Okay. So actually, let's look at this together. Okay. So Lenormand reads a little more literally than um, tarot and runes. We have a letter, communication coming in and bringing some sort of new information, like the the um, the stork is like a messenger, a harbinger of change, of transformation, of something new coming in, and and the letter is like the communication of that thing, receiving the word that something new is beginning. And I do want to pause and say that the Gebu card, that gift that's being held out, you know, is it a paintbrush? Is it a pen, an ink pen? So is part, somebody here is your gift, like writing, communicating, because that's definitely, that might be a skill set, a gift that's being highlighted here. But either way, there's like some sort of like mail that you receive. It could be snail mail, it could be email, or maybe you give snail mail, email. Whatever it is, it's like your message and how that message is given or received by you, that information is just like ushering in a whole new, very transformative thing with the stork. There's a reason that there's this like birth mythology of the stork delivering a baby. Maybe that's literal for some of y'all for sure. But one of the keywords associated with stork in this deck is becoming. And that's that's echoing this Bearcana energy of like, um, it could be word of like a visitor, a word of something new coming into your life. Um, a new cycle beginning or a new chapter. Either way, like this newness, this thing that is birthing or becoming in your life is bringing some transformation and change. And it looks like good news because we have the letter in the sun. Okay, and then the key. I mean, the key is, it's the key. It's the thing that unlocks doors that were previously closed. It's the solution. It's the... Um, the thing that unlocks it all, that opens it up, the revelation that is like the important piece for success and for achievement with these gifts. And so maybe like you are receiving something that 
ushers in a whole new era for you and maybe you're receiving that in the form of like a letter or a contract or some sort of communication that is sent to you. Okay, interesting. And then the paths. It's a, a crossroad, you know, you're here at this, like you've been on this path and then it forks and you have a choice to make. You have decisions, you have, maybe suddenly you have more options than you had before. Of course, there can be a sense of like, you know, indecisiveness or, um, oh no, like suddenly these more paths have opened up. I was, I was focused, you know, I was like singularly focused on that bullseye and now like, um, I've received this gift or I've received this information, this piece of the puzzle that has completely unlocked way more options for me than I currently had, had and now this other path is showing itself. And so there's a question of focus here and a question of like, okay, now where do I aim? You know, what is my direction? Which way am I going to go? But it's exciting, Aquarius, because whatever it is, it's opening up your world in a completely new way. The introduction of this, this new thing arriving, that is new information in your life. That is new energy in your life. You know, and, and it is, it is change, potentially changing everything, opening up again, like opening up new paths, opening up new roads, new directions, new things for you to focus on or new ways to apply your gifts and focus your gifts. Again, it's, I'm just seeing like happiness, happiness, happiness. All these cards are so yellow. It's really beautiful to see. Um, Mm -hmm. I like this too because, you know, spring is eclipse season Aquarius and we're entering um, a little bit of a, a shake up time after the dormancy of winter in the northern hemisphere. Spring comes in and there's all this new growth and new life and it's always eclipse season in the spring and eclipses can bring like swift beginnings, swift endings, changes, sudden Re revelations or suddenly revealing new information. It can be unexpected things coming in and you being like, oh, okay, I know things now that I did not know before. And that kind of changes how I'm applying my energy, where I'm, how I'm focusing, what is even available to me suddenly has opened up. So that's a gorgeous reading for you, Aquarius. We have to continue to pull cards now. We're going to use the regular tarot and the Oracle deck to see if we can get deeper into this energy. If you'd like to view the rest of this reading, just click the link in the description below and that will take you to the shifting space where you can view the entire reading for Aquarius and all 12 zodiac signs as well as um, join the community of people in the shifting space who are all investigating these readings together over the course of the season. So if that sounds like something you're into, click that link and I'll see you in there. All right, Aquarius, let's get to it. <laughs> <laughs> 